The purpose of this video is to review shutting down procedures of the 3D Banbury mixer. After running the last batch of the day, ensure that the bottom door is open. So that way, if any lubricating or processing oil that still is going through the system can work its way through, and any items that might fall into the Banbury while it's not in use will not be in there when the next batch is run the next day. To shut down the system, hit the mixer stop button, which will stop the drive mode. Press the hydraulic stop button, which will stop the hydraulic pump system. Let the lube system continue to run while the motor is cycling down. Once the motor has stopped spinning, press the loop stop button. Turn off power to the operator panel. The Banbury is now shut down. Once the Banbury is shut down, go to the maintenance level of the mixer. Check the lubrication block to make sure no pins are popped, which indicate a blocked hydraulic line. Uh, lubrication line. Check the buckets of waste oil to make sure it's not full and needs to be dumped out. Check the Trayvon system reservoir, reservoir and make sure, make sure that does not need to be refilled. Check the Trayvon grease system, block system, and make sure no pins are popped. Turn off the water lines for the chiller, both supply, and return side. the water lines are on. Go down to the first floor. Double check the red, the tote for the hydraulic, for the uh, lubrication oil. Make sure the day tank on the lubrication system is still full. And then you're done shutting down the Banbury mixer.